hey guys and welcome back to the channel all right so I did a poll recently on my Instagram and I was asking everyone what they'd like to see next on the channel and literally at, out of the four items 50% of the votes went towards this video that you're looking at right now so um, I believe that a lot of people need some guidance when it comes to um, how to eat, what to eat. A lot of people are confused when it comes to nutrition. Many people are okay with busting their ass in the gym um, for an hour or two hours. Not so necessary, but yeah. Um, and there's no problem, but the issue comes in when it comes to diet. So today we're going to be going over three super healthy, low carb, nutritious breakfast ideas. You can do these things every morning, any morning, weekdays, weekends, whatever. Um, one main factor why a lot of people don't make breakfast in the morning is because they don't have the time. So each meal that you're going to see today is going to take less than less than 10 minutes to do each meal. Um, I would say closer to five minutes. Um, so let's go into the kitchen. All right, so we're in the kitchen and the first meal that we're going to start off with is something that's very quick, very simple, and you can remix it to fit anything that you prefer. So your preference, if your preference is no bananas, you can do that. If your preference is this fruit and not that fruit, you can do that. Um, so let me tell you what it is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in with one of my faves, which is a protein shake super simple super filling um and you can obviously gauge it based on your calorie requirements so what i like to do i like to go in with a quarter cup of berries so i use frozen berries um they are preserved for much longer you can just toss them in the freezer instead of um the fresh ones so, quarter cup frozen berries. For today, I'm gonna be using this milk. It's a new one, I'm trying out. It's oat and hemp. So I go in with one cup. So if one of these is a quarter cup, I go in with four of them. If you're on a tight um, nutritional calorie count, you can just use water instead of milk. Super easy. All right. And then I go in with some Greek style yogurt. Okay. Almond butter. You have options. So if you want to use almond butter, you can use almond butter. If you want to use um, peanut butter, you can use peanut butter. I have I get rashes from peanuts, so I avoid them. Here I'm going in with a teaspoon of almond butter. Make sure you get it all out. You want to get the most out of your shake. Okay. Then half a banana. Again, if you're trying to increase your calories, you can go in with a whole banana. Um, for those who want to keep their carbs moderate to low, um, half a banana is more than enough. And it gives you that sweetness that you need. Between the banana and the almond butter, more than enough sweetness. Okay, and then I go in with my collagen. I go in with a tablespoon. Then maca root, I go in with half a tablespoon of that. So that's the maca root. And then I add these three things. I add my protein powder. I am not vegan, but I use um, vegan protein, brown rice protein, much less sugar. So I go in with 40, 40 grams of that. 
Then I go in with my beloved chia seeds and I tend to do a teaspoon of that. I know I used the half tablespoon <laughs> scoop for that just now, but because I know um, my measurements, because I do it almost every day, um, I kind of know where to stop. But if you're not so knowledgeable, then you can most definitely just use your teaspoon uh, scoop. So I also use this, which is um, an immunity mix from Yum Yum. Yum and yay. <laughs> um, and it has raspberries and mixed seeds and stuff. So it's high in magnesium, high in fiber and folic acid. And for women, that is a win-win. Um, and then before I start blending it up, I just add a little bit of ice. So once I've added the ice, um, what I like to do, so it doesn't just hit when I put it on the blender, so it doesn't hit on the blades too hard as in the ice, I just like to top it off with just a little, a little splash of milk or water. Then I cover that baby down. And that should be it. So that is the first meal idea. And that is my infamous protein shake with banana and blueberries. All right, taste this. Not bad. Usually, um, because my calories are a little bit higher than the average woman that might be on a weight loss journey, um, I tend to use a whole banana. So that will give it a little bit more sweetness. But this is absolutely fine. If you're a person that truly loves a bit more sweetness, you can add... Um, the whole banana or you can add like half a teaspoon or quarter teaspoon of organic stevia Let's jump into the next recipe All right, so for the second meal um, Or meal idea we're gonna go in with some overnight oats So with overnight oats super super simple um, I use these oats. I love jo um, jumbo organic oats because um, they are found to be the healthier ones, so I've heard, <laughs> but don't quote me. So, with my overnight oats, um, what I like to do is I like to start off with half a cup of oats. And then we're going to go in with quarter cup of the coconut Greek yogurt. All right, so once you've got that, you can then add some vanilla flavoring. So that just gives it a nice little taste. So I would say maybe half of a teaspoon or even less. That's absolutely fine. Then you can remix it. You can add chia seeds. You can add flax seeds. So here I'm going to add um, a teaspoon of chia seeds. Actually, I'm going to go in for the whole half tablespoon of chia seeds. And we have some flax seeds. Half a tablespoon of flax seed. What this does is it adds the fiber. It adds the fiber. We need fiber in our diet, okay? And then that is pretty much it. And we need about half a cup. The liquid is super important because um, then it just soaks up. The oats soak up the milk. And then you'll realize that it's going to give such a good consistency. You can shake it up. You can stir it up. It's totally up to you. But what I like to do is I like to just make little holes in it so that the um, milk can kind of like pierce through the oats. So it's not just like the outer oats are done, but the inner oats are not, you know? So that's your overnight oats prepped and prepared so when it comes to the next day you can now remix it and add whatever toppings you'd like so i'm going to show you some of my favorite toppings to add so you will love these overnight oats i promise
Okay, we're on to our third and final recipe for today. Um, and this is going to be a breakfast burrito. So, starting off with some eggs. Me, I'm usually heavy on the eggs, but for today, I'm just going to do two eggs. I usually have three. Um, each egg has in about six grams of protein so this helps to boost my protein intake for the day and just gonna whisk that in if I'm not using eggs if you're vegan um, you can just use some tofu um, I love organic tofu and I have that on the days where I'm not having eggs All right, so once your eggs are all whisked up Then we're gonna go in with some mushrooms. Not everyone likes mushrooms, but Listen mushrooms slap in a burrito In the meantime put your stove top on Okay now um, like everything else you can always remix your dishes but um, I like to have tomatoes and today I got a little fancy and I went and, and, and got different colored tomatoes so you're just cutting it up in little um, quarts and while you're still chopping up just cut a, maybe a quarter of um, a white onion and red onion all right guys so now we've got two pots on um, I've gone in with the big pot with um, organic flaxseed oil and that is already hot um, with my small pot it is already hot as well I'm gonna turn it down to five and to the first pot I'm gonna add all my goodies. So I'm gonna add my mushrooms, my tomatoes, my red and white onion. And to the next part, I'm gonna add some planting. All right, so almost done with this. Um, we're gonna go in with a little bit of coconut oil. Remind your eggs that they're about to get scrambled. <laughs> a little tester. Yep, ready. Eggs are super simple for me. Um, I don't do too much of the adding of all kinds of things. I don't like to dry up my eggs too much, so then I'll go in with a little bit of black pepper. Literally one ton of salt. Turn it over. 
I think it needs to dry on the other side because it's a little bit wet. So you can choose from wraps or you can serve everything on some sourdough bread. Today, obviously I said burrito, so today we're gonna be going in with the wraps. Alright guys, you know I love a little bit of a taste test, um, so here we go. Oh my god, okay, I think I did something there, definitely did something there. Um, I didn't plant it so it just gives it a different taste. Um, the Cajun, 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 hmm, seasoning, 100% needed to be in there um and also again guys nutritional yeast this is great um so you can get in some b vitamins um if you're vegan and you don't want to have cheese that gives it a nice cheesy uh taste and also if you just want to be a little bit healthier you can go ahead and use nutritional yeast guys thank you for joining me today um i hope that this video was helpful and that you can whip up any of those three meals in less than 10 minutes um, and they're quite healthy lower on the carb scale very nutritious high in protein and they're gonna give you just what you need to start off your day all right I'm gonna go finish the rest of this <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe down below um, join the family we are growing and I am super excited for what is to come next. I will see you in the next video. Bye.